What's up, y'all? It's your boy Aaron BTV here. Back at you with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about recruiters and the lies that they tell you. You feel me? First and foremost, you guys should not take a single word that the recruiter tells you as definite. You guys should do your own research. So, if you guys get manipulated or you guys join the military thinking this, but it actually turns out to be that, it's your own fault. You guys should be doing research. I highly recommend joining the Discord below in my description to ask soldiers. Who are already in the military what it's like and answer your questions to get like an inside scoop because recruiters their jobs is to recruit you specifically so the first thing about recruiters some of them may be very aggressive so when i say that i really mean like you talk to a recruiter and they just instantly you know make it seem like the military is the only option you have they shoot down your whole plans of you know anything but the military they put doubt in your mind like say you want to go to college for this and then they're just going to like say well what if you don't graduate that college what if you drop out what if you graduate college but there's no job for you yada 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 don't listen to them kindly walk away if whatever they're selling you you're not interested in just kindly be like hey man you know i'm not i'm not digging what you're telling me i'm gonna go talk to another recruiter the second thing is make sure you get everything in writing okay recruiters like to tell people that hey you can have this you can have that but unless it's in writing you don't actually have it so i cannot stress this enough you guys will be going to basic training think you guys have a bonus in which you actually don't because you guys didn't sign any piece of paperwork saying that you are getting a bonus so make sure you guys get everything the recruiter is promising you on paper i can't stress that enough and if you guys are still considering the military do not sign anything in that office unless you are 100 percent sure that you want to join the military another thing a recruiter might say is you can quit whenever you want false once you get past basic training in ait you are in the military and quitting is not that easy so I would definitely, definitely ask myself if the military is something that I really want to do because if that recruiter tells you, oh, you just quit whatever, it's like a regular job, no, that's false. You can't quit whenever in the military. So if a recruiter tells you that, they're capping, bro. The next thing a recruiter might tell you to get you to sign that paperwork is that you could go anywhere you want in the world. Like the army is just this place and you go to this place and you tell them where you want to go and the army is going to take you there. False. The army does give soldiers their wishes as far as where they want to go sometimes, but not all the time. Ask me how I got to Fort Drum when I wanted to go to Texas or Florida or Germany. You feel me? So army definitely will give you locations that you want, but it's not 100% guaranteed. It's always needs of the army before your needs. So remember that, guys. But I'm not saying the army, you know, is a bad place. I'm definitely enjoying Fort Drum, New York. The army has definitely taken me places where I probably would have never gone before in my life without joining the army. And I thank the army for that. But if a recruiter tells you you can go anywhere you want in the army just like that, they're wrong. The next thing a recruiter might tell you, which is false, is that you're going to go to jail for not signing any type of paperwork or if you do sign any type of paperwork you're going to go to jail for backing out completely false so if you did sign any type of paperwork in the military you guys can still back out you guys have up until graduating from basic training in ait to back out now i'm not going to lie to you once you guys start knocking down the blocks like maps basic training and like before ait it is kind of a whole process of getting out to military because the military invest a lot of money into a new recruit and they don't want to you know lose their investment so they're going to try everything they can to keep you their investment so they don't just waste their money but you guys can totally back out up until graduating from ait so if a recruiter tries to scare you by saying you're going to go to jail if you don't sign this piece of paperwork or you already signed this piece of paperwork so you are locked in that's false bro Next thing a recruiter might say to get you to sign that paperwork is that you won't ever get deployed. You'll never go overseas. You'll never be put in a dangerous situation. Oh, you chose a 68 Echo dental assistant. You're never going to, you know, go outside in the field. You're just going to be a nice, cozy clinic indoors. You're not going to be out in Fort Polk, Louisiana, cold, wet, miserable. 
Bro, that's a fucking tank, dog. Ever, you feel me? If a recruiter says stuff like that, they're false. The military's main role is to protect the Constitution, of the United States of America. And in order to prepare the military for that, you guys are gonna be put into crappy situations. And if the military needs you to deploy, you will deploy. There is no, oh, I don't want to deploy, so I'm not gonna deploy. You will deploy if the military tells you to deploy. Now, there is definitely odds of deploying maybe slimmer for each branch or the job that you choose. That's a whole different story, but. If a recruiter tells you that you're never going to deploy or that you don't have to deploy if you don't want to, that's false. If you guys are still watching this video and you haven't liked the video already, go ahead and like the video down and comment down a story about a recruiter that you guys came encounter with and it was kind of funny or a bad experience. Just go ahead and let, it, let your boy know in the comments below. Now, this next thing that I'm about to say is very important and I hear this a lot. A recruiter will say you could just change your job in the military if you don't like the job that you already have or if they don't have the job that you want you could just join this job and it's exactly like the job that you want freaking cap bro cap do not believe that so one if you guys want to change your job once you guys get in the military it's called reclassing and it's totally possible but it is a whole process and the military recruiter is going to make it seem like it's just all cut and dry black and white it is a whole process and i highly recommend you guys to research that whole process before you guys sign up for that job and if the recruiter is trying to tell you that this job is, you know, just like this job. So since we don't have this job available, you can just sign as this job and you be doing the same thing. Freaking false, bro. There are two different jobs for a reason. They're going to say, oh, you guys might be cross training and all this other stuff, which is kind of true. You know, as a dental specialist, I've, been, I've done stuff combat medics do, which is pretty cool. But. I'm a dental assistant at the end of the day, or a soldier first, dental assistant second. I do dental assistant more than a combat medic is basically what I'm saying, right? Because that's a job that I sign up as. Do not sign up as a plumber hoping you could do computer stuff because your recruiter said, oh yeah, plumbers do computer stuff too. No, don't do that. I highly recommend you guys, if you guys can wait, just wait until the slot is open call the recruiter's office every week every month and ask if that slot is open because you guys will be doing this job for four six eight two years of your life and you guys want to be happy doing whatever you guys sign up to do so do not get rushed into doing anything that's very important too do not get rushed the recruiter might try to rush you take your time Go home, think about it, sleep on it, get something to eat, you feel me? Talk to your priest, talk to your parents, talk to me, you feel me? I highly recommend Reddit. But yeah, guys, do not rush this decision. This is a very big life decision for you. The last thing that a recruiter might tell you to get you to sign, and I kind of touched on it previously, is that since they don't have the job you're looking for, you can sign as this job. And like I said before, don't do that because you're going to end up unhappy and you're going to hate your recruiter. We've all seen those TikToks. But if you guys found value out of this video, please feel free to like the video and comment down anything you want. If you guys haven't followed me on Instagram, go ahead and follow your boy on Instagram. Link is in the description below. But other than that, guys, peace out. Have a great rest of your day.